Okay, so roses are red and violets are blue, but maybe your blue is in fact my red. How do we know this? This has been a problem since problems began. Science and philosophy still doesn't really have an answer. But our relationship with our experience of colour is so strong, how can we ever see otherwise? What we need is a good example of where our physical reality is different from our perceptual reality. But what can we use? What are these in here? These are funny looking flowers. <laughs> so, they don't smell so good, but they will serve a good purpose to teach us about the way the brain, the brain processes information. So, which, which of the centers look darker? I imagine both of you will see this one to look slightly darker than this one. This one appears slightly lighter. But in fact, these are both the same color grades. So what's going on? There are two ways to understand the ways that our brain processes visual information. The first is called inverse optics, and it was inspired by physics. So this is the idea that as photons are bouncing off these colors and uh, objects into our eyes, our eyes reverse engineer the path and calculate the wavelength and then bounce those back onto the world around us, and then we make an estimate of what the colours are going on. But as, I, as I've told you, these two are different colours, so this couldn't be the way the brain is processing this. The second approach is called heuristics-based, and this is the idea that our brain uses certain perceptual tricks or cues about the world around us that simplify the space. For example, shadows have softer edges, than most physical edges, so we can tell the difference between light and dark. What's important in this case is the surround, or the contrast. More specifically, here, here we have a lighter a surround, and here we have a darker surround. And what the brain is doing is searching for an average for each object. We're not, we're not assigning a specific color to each area. We create an average for each color, and then through that, create an internal scale and create the colour we see. So in this case, the average is warped to be lighter than it is, so the centre grey appears darker, whereas this one is darker, has a darker surround, and the average is warped to be lighter. So, in summary, we don't see, we, our brains don't simply read off the colour from photons, they create an internal scale upon which we label the colours of the world. Thank you very much.